immune boosting nutrients. The very first one is vitamin D3. We know vitamin D3 is so good for us. It's good, but it comes from the sun. But right now, 42% of the United States population is deficient in vitamin D. That's a lot of people. And if you just look up vitamin D and immune system, you'll see also 100 million articles on how important vitamin D is. That when, they, when you go to the doctor and they do like a CDC blood panel, they'll add vitamin D on top of it because it affects your immune system. And so if you don't have it at a certain height, they're going to tell you, you absolutely need to take vitamin D because it affects your body's ability to fight things. Now we get it from the sun. We're also in fall again and we're going to get into winter. There's not going to be as much sun as there is in the summer. The other part of it, even if it is summer, how many of you actually make an effort to go outside and make sure that you get vitamin D? I don't even. I should, but we're in work and we're inside all day, so we don't get that amount of vitamin D that we need. Now, here's the other part of this that most people don't tell you. Cholesterol matters when it comes to your amount of vitamin D that you have inside of your body. Why? The sun um, is synthesized, vitamin D is synthesized from cholesterol in your skin upon exposure to sunlight. Cholesterol and vitamin D are almost exactly the same if you look at it on a molecular level. So here's my thought. If you're on a cholesterol lowering medication or if you're on a low fat diet, what do you think is going to happen to your vitamin D levels? They're going to decrease. Is anybody telling anybody that? They're just putting you on cholesterol lowering medications and telling you to stop eating fat because fat is bad. Then our vitamin D levels go down, so then it's just we just keep taking all these pills, and it's like one's affecting another, which is affecting another, which is affecting another, and if we could just actually figure out what's causing it and that we need more vitamin D inside of our bodies, it would help our immune systems radically increase. 